we do anything in today's video, I want to show you guys something that I got probably like two weeks ago. I unboxed it and I just completely forgot to put it in the video. Check this thing out. So shout out to, I believe, Nick. This thing is super dope. I haven't tried it out yet, but he sent me like all the goodies. <laughs> So what this thing is, is a 3D printed wireless charging pad for the BRZ. It's a really dope idea. So he 3D printed this little guy that holds just like a wireless charging pad that I guess you would get at like Best Buy. Slides into the pad. BRZ has this little outlet here. So essentially, this should plug in here. Hello, nothing's happening. Maybe the car has to run. How is my battery almost dead? Maybe that's why it's not working. It's having issues. I guess I left something on. I don't really know. It's almost dead. I can just drive around. My phone could be charging a little wireless pad. That is actually like really, really cool. Thank you for that. It's a lot of stairs. It's about time we started modding the Genesis. I told you guys I wanted to wait till it was all one color and all one color it is. If you guys have been paying attention, you know I've been sitting on these Kansai wheels for a little bit. I'm about to get roasted for how I say it. Everybody seems to say this different. Kansai, Kansai, Kans, Kansai. They're nice wheels, all right? You say it how you say it. We got not only four of these bad boys, but I got two more still up on the loft. You're supposed to, yeah. Boom! We're not gonna be putting tires on those today because what I'm actually thinking of doing is when we start drifting, I'm gonna start on the Genesis wheels on the rear because first of all, we haven't had any power mods yet, so it's not the most powerful car ever. Free tires to burn away. So we're gonna learn, at least like my first day out, we're gonna learn with the Genesis stock wheels in the rear and just have Conte wheels on the front and then we'll work our way up to having all six of these wrapped, hopefully even get more. Before I forget, May 22nd, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, committed, we're having a draw. We're having more of the white stay committed hoodies and the t-shirts are gonna be live too. We're having windshield banners, we're having stickers and COVID-19 cooperating, we will have jet tags. These are like unlike any rim I think I've ever put on a car. First of all, I've never had like a chrome lip like this, which I think is really cool. I don't know, there's just something about them. I'm usually, I like them. I think they're really dope. I actually met with these guys, whoop. I met with these guys when we were at SEMA. I walked around their booth and checked out a bunch of the wheels. And I, when I, when we were thinking of wheels for the Genesis for a drift build, this was the absolute first place I thought to look. So these are the Rokus. These are, I believe their newest wheel right now. It looks so fire. I top everything off with the new wheels. We got a fresh set of Toyo tires. So I'm gonna come right out and say it, like getting into something, especially drifting, I don't have any friends that do it, I don't know anybody like personally that does this. So this is all kind of like a hit or miss game. I'm sure it's gonna take us a couple events to figure out like what tire size works best and what tire we want to work best. I don't think I have it mastered at all yet. That's why I actually only got four of these guys so far, but these are the Extenza HPs. These are a very nice tire. These are the exact same ones I think I have on the Civic. Hell yeah, it is Extenza HP2. These ones are just a lot less meaty than the Civic ones, but I wanted to get something that wasn't gonna be extremely grippy to start with. I, I don't know, like I said. We're gonna learn what the car wants and what I want as we build it, as we progress, as we even hit the track for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> the wheel gap it has. And like somehow these are 18s and the stock wheels are 18s, but these look like they're like 25s compared to this. Do they not? Yeah. They look like way bigger than they should. Anyways, I think these look good. We might, it's gonna be hard to tell until we get this thing like actually the coilovers installed if we're gonna wanna do any sort of space or anything. Corny got us in, that's good. I was worried today's Sunday and it's a long weekend and then I really wanted to get this done today, but as soon as I got here, I was like, dude, no one's gonna take us. So of all places today, we're going to Costco. Get these things mounted, but they will be mounted nonetheless. <laughs> Fun thing we just learned about Costco is they won't put your tires on if you didn't buy them at Costco. But if you rip off the stickers and claim that you bought them at Costco a while ago, they can't say no. I don't know if I was supposed to share that with you guys or not, but that's fun fact of the day. Rip off your stickers, 85 bucks for a tire swap, can't explain. One eternity later. With tires on these rims, dude, these look so fire. 
I, I actually love these. And shout out to Costco. I was super worried because these are like directional tires. I was worried Costco was gonna go ahead and mess them all up. We're gonna have an issue. Not only did they not scratch my wheels, I just, maybe I don't have enough faith in Costco. I don't know. They labeled them in case I was an idiot. This is a right. That's a right. Even though it says right. They even gave me the gray caps, bro. I don't even, I don't, maybe that's normal for them. I don't know. Also, I was checking this out earlier. Look how cool. Look at the center caps, dude. They got so much little detail in them. These are dope. Lots of center caps are just kind of like, it's simple and yuck. These are nice. And so this is the exact same setup that I had on the BRZ before. This is an 18 by nine and a half, and then these are two 55, 35, 18. So in the front, these should be good, nice and grippy. And then in the rear, like I said, it might just be, we might be a little underpowered until we start doing power mods to get these to spin. But I don't honestly think it's much more than this. What's this? This is a 225. I don't know. We're gonna absolutely destroy these before, <laughs> before we start ripping on those. We need a shop dog. We do. As simple as it gets. They do look good though. Hey, I made a little mistake. Don't get mad at me for it. I forgot to order lug nuts. I thought I had enough sitting over there, but I'm actually like, the problem was half of them used to be for the Civic. So I thought they were all by 1.25, but half of them were by 1.5. This side has like OEM lug nuts, and this side <laughs> has black ones. I already ordered new ones, don't worry. She thick, thicker than it was with stock. I know this thing is still an absolute monster truck, so don't judge it too hard, but let's get it out of here, and see what it looks like in some nice lighting. That's the fresh new rubber. Oh, dude, this thing is like... <laughs> Can you guys hear all the rocks? Oh my god. Flinging rocks right, left, and center, dude. This is... These are some good tires. I like I like a fresh set of tires. I'm not gonna give you guys a crazy edit because crazy edits are only good when it's nice to look at. <laughs> and at this height, dude, it's not the nicest to look at, but damn. This actually, these look so good. Once we get some coilovers in there, we get that those black spots on the bumpers. Dude, look at Jenny. She's coming along. <laughs> this is dope. These look so good. I mean, aside from the, the obvious. <laughs> Something I actually really like about these Kansai wheels is that they have the chrome lip and then they have like the actual gray finish and the barrel's gray which is nice so like in there matches here. Um, but something that I like with this chrome is that the, the Genesis stock headlights have a weird amount of chrome in them. And like having them side by side just, they just, it just kind of accents it. You, you know what I mean? Like it's not too much but it accents the headlights nicely. And then same thing on the back, we're getting new taillights because these kind of look funny. With the emblem and stuff, I just, I don't know, I think the chrome... The chrome looks nice. Huge fan. Oh, and the sun is coming out. All right, let's see if we can get a little bit of a better shot than last time. Damn, dude, Jenny's coming along. Oh, he's thick, boy. It actually looks like really nice. Actually, just putting wheels and tires on this thing, like just the extra little bit of offset that kind of makes it almost flush with the body line, really makes the booty pop on this thing. Like Genesis has like a nice wide ass, and I'm a, I'm a pretty, pretty big fan of that. Dude, the car's bright too. It's not even like full sun right now. And it like kind of hurts to look at. <laughs> I hope you guys like this thing, dude. I think this looks sick. I'm super happy with the wheel choice. And you can see the brakes too. Not that the brakes are anything super special, but we got those Hawk rotors and pads in here. And like you can really, really see them through these wheels. I, I like this. I'd love to get some rollers. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be insuring this car just because insurance, especially where I live, insurance is like really expensive. Um, and it sucks, yeah, like right now I can't really go drive the car down the road and like get some rollers of the wheels, which I would want to do once we get coilovers anyways, um, but I can't go get rollers of the, 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 the wheels. For the most part, I'm really not gonna drive this car. I never planned on driving this car on the street. Just trust me that like it's really worth it to not insure the car. Insurance is dumb expensive. You ready to help? Ready to help? Brother, I was born to help. Are you taking all your doors and everything off tonight too? No. We're not taking them off, apparently. We're gonna take like door handles off and then like inner trim pieces, but we'll probably just mask all of that off. Yeah, come and time just, to spray it. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Yeah. I'm sure you guys have noticed in the background, but in case you guys haven't or like haven't been following or anything, Brad's car should be masking tonight. He's gonna be painting it tomorrow. Anyways, he's been working on this in the background for a long time, trying to get everything dialed in and everything kind of straightened up. That's why the paint booth is still, still here. I know that we've been done with the painting for, it's been just over a week that we've been done with the painting, but the paint booth is still up. 
because um, Brad is gonna get his car all dialed in and ready to go and start painting it tomorrow. I got my first set of drift spares. Not that they're gonna last very long, but they're, they're our first set. So I hope you guys like those wheels and tires. I'm excited to get those coilovers installed and make everything just kind of look a little bit nicer. And we gotta find a manual transmission. I've been looking all over the place. I found one when we first got the car, but I was like, oh, I don't need it yet, I'll get it later. And now I wish I had bought it in the first place because it's kind of hard to find. But I'm looking everywhere. I already have the clutch of flywheel kit. I've had it forever. So trying to find the transmission, that's like one of the next fish things. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys. I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out and stay committed. Anyways. You wanna open them up?